Welcome back everybody. Today we are going to be building the Markel fence. We have this first post in the ground. Uh, this is our, this is a gate post. Um, there's another one right over here. And that's, this, there's going to be a little man gate right here. And then there's another gate over there and there's going to be a big 16 foot gate right here and a man gate here. And then this, there's going to be a cattle panel fence going that way and we gotta get this first post in so we can see uh, uh, where our string line is going to be because our string line is supposed to come and butt right up into this and uh, then we'll be able to see this is our string line then we'll be able to see Anyway, right now we're still about three quarters of the way down to this post. We still gotta pack a little bit more. I'm gonna fill it in with some dirt. Uh, we did not film drilling these, uh, digging them. All we used was the post auger, so it wasn't very that, in it wasn't that interesting. Uh, and uh, we just dug them all. The ground is really hard. So we had to dig them with a six inch auger and then we filled up the holes with water and then we came back with a 12 inch auger. So, uh, what? No, it's 12 inches. Yeah. Uh, but this post is a, almost 12 inches around. It's like maybe 10 inches around. So when we put it inside the hole, uh, it, um, there wasn't enough of space around it to uh, pack with uh, a post packer. They have this about two inch around suckle thing that you pack it with. You just slam it on the ground and it packs it. So that wasn't big enough, so we had to dig this hole probably we had to dig this hole out approximately 18 to 17 inches around so uh, and now we can fit around it with our post packer and stuff so anyway uh, they that's what we are doing today and it's supposed to get up to like 100 or 90 degrees today we probably won't pack all day because then we'll get too hot but we'll pack most of the day uh, until we get pretty hot or until it's lunch right now it's like probably nine or nine or eight so anyway we're just filling it up with dirt And also these posts were cut on all, well, yeah, all land. And also what we treated them with, uh, there's a barrel over there. There's some posts in the barrel right now. I told you this in the la uh, video. I can't remember the video, but I told you we we're going to make our own uh, uh, emulsion to put on these posts so we don't have to use uh, tar, like what you put on asphalt or ribs, uh, uh, because that stuff is expensive. Uh, but we have some oil, used motor oil. We did 50 and 50. We did 50% motor oil and 50% diesel. We did red diesel. You can do any type of diesel. It can just be the normal diesel or it can be red diesel. Red diesel means it dyed diesel, I guess you can call it. You can't drive it. It's for farm equipment, so you can't drive it on roads, use it on roads, because it's illegal in America. So. Anyway, uh, we used it, and then we fill up the bell about half full. So that means you're gonna pit about those bells about 55 gallons. So you're just gonna pit right around like 10, 12 and a half gallons roughly of uh, oil, and then you're gonna pit 10 and a half gallons of 
12 and a half gallons of di uh, diesel. And then you just mix that all up and you dip the post in it and it's good to go. Uh, you can see they're kind of a dark color. If you look at them pretty close, they're kind of dark. Uh, but those bales are only three feet tall. And these holes are three feet. So we want a foot or more above the ground, what's painted. So all we did was you just take a brush, like a paint uh, paint brush that's like used or something, and you just and you just dip it in the oil and diesel, and just wipe it on the post, and uh, then let it dry for like a day, and then it will work too. But dipping it is a little better because, and also if you're wondering how long to dip it for, you want to dip it for about three days. You can go longer. Longer is better, but three days is what we did. Uh, this is the fish dealer trying this diesel and oil mix, so we'll see how it does. In our last log fence over there, we didn't really film it, but we used tar to uh, sweet the post, and that looked good, but it just used a lot of tar, and it was pretty expensive to get the tar. Anyway, uh, so I got this hole filled up. Now we're going to pack this and uh, so yeah, uh, if you're wondering what this milk, new milk health uh, uh, pen is going to be, we're, gonna, we're probably going to do series uh, on this because we're not going to get down the whole pen in one day because we still have to cut down some more trees and get a couple more stuff before we can do it. But uh, this fence is going to be cattle panel, like what I said. It's going to have probably one log rail on this side. So the cattle panels are going on this side, and the log rail is going on this side, like about m in the middle of the cattle panel. So animals on this side, when they push up against it, they don't push the cattle panel and pull out the staples that are going to go in here. And then we're probably going to put a top rail on it, about five feet high, a top rail. And then... Uh, that's going to be this fence, and probably that fence right over there, you can't see it. But then there's going to be another fence right on the other side of this, and that's going to be a feeder panel. So what that means is we're going to put posts in the ground, we're going to put logs on the top, about one about foot and a half off the ground, and then another one about five feet off the ground. And we're going to put angles on them, just like my feeders I built. We're going to put an angles on them and go all the way down the line, and they're just going to stick their heads through and eat hay on this other side. And we just pitch it up, fluff it up and stuff right in front of them, and then they eat. And then we're going to have two big gates right here. They're going to come off of this big post right here, and they're going to hang. And they're, they're not really going to hang, but they're just going to sit right here. And uh, that's what we're going to use to uh, clean out their pens. So. Uh, this feeder panel, when they come up to eat, we're just going to scrape it with tobacco and take all that manure and use it for compost in our garden and everything. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do with this. And uh, we'll film this milk cow pen. We'll hopefully get it all on camera. So, basically, I'm just going around up close to the post. I'm going around it. So, I'm um, up right next to the post, kind of, packing it. But then when that's all packed, then I'll go on the outside and pack the outside rim. Now I'm going to speed up a little bit and go around and then we'll put more dirt in. I'm gonna get a drink of water. And if you don't have a post packer, this metal one, you can just use a wooden limb or a little tiny uh, shui and pack it just as good. But a post packer is just a little easier because you don't have to go around as many times because it's heavier.
but this post is six foot tall. Uh, the reason why this one's so tall is because uh, these are spo these are nine foot poles uh, posts. Uh, I cut them because we want to pedal gates in four feet in the ground. We got instead of an eight foot post, it's sticking four feet out of the ground. We're gonna do a nine foot post and five feet sticking out of the ground since we have horses. Uh, but since we're only gonna put this one in three feet in the ground, we might put the one right next to it four feet in the ground. But this one's gonna be three feet in the ground. We are just going to, uh, we want a nice tall gate because we might pit something like a, a mantle or something cool to go over top. There's gonna be another six foot post right over there. So then you can see it. So it'll be, it'll be, uh, it'll stand out from all the other fence. It'll be taller and more, uh, it might have like some antlers screwed together or like a cool lamb or something that goes over top and then the gate's gonna go right here. And this will lead into the arena. Well, it will lead probably on the fence of the arena. We don't know yet. We're gonna build a fence around the arena too. So uh, we don't have to uh, worry about if we're riding horses or trying to rope uh, Elliot. He doesn't just run into the forest. He'll be inside the arena. So, yeah. Anyway, this will be our last pack. This will be our last packing, and then we will uh, lay out these other posts and pit them uh, six, eight feet on center. So middle of post has to be eight feet. So I think right here we are going to use. about four to five cattle panels on this little stretch right here. Since cattle panels are about 16 feet long, uh, we use about six, five to four, I think I said, going that way. And then we have 10, so we're hoping we don't have to buy any cattle panels. So we'll see, but. But also, can't tell you everything in one day because you're just gonna have to watch the uh, seasons of this field. But there is gonna be some, we're gonna build a shelter for the milk cows over there. Since we, we have about four milk cows right now and I think we're gonna be picking up another milk cow, so we're gonna have five milk cows. So we need a barn to keep them out of the elements because we milk all year round, even in the winter time and summertime all the time. So we need a bomb, we need like a lean-to to keep them protected when it's winter time from the snow um, because they will be in milk and we don't want them to get uh, frostbite on their teeth and we don't want them to be out in the elements when they're in milk. So it's just better for us and the cow to be inside a, it's not going to be inside, it's just going to be a little lean-to thing just to keep the snow off of them. And uh, it's not going to be, it will probably be like 16 feet long by 16, maybe, I don't know. But I, haven't, I haven't measured it. Dad will be, Dad's helping us with that. Dad had to go to work today, so that's why he's not helping us with the post today. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, this milk cow pen is going to be all set it up so then I'll, so when it's winter time, it's gonna be so much easier for us to milk because we can just open up a little door back there and they just come right into the milking stanchion and get we can stop milking. So anyway, this is probably pretty boring because basically, literally all this is is just packing a post. Uh, some people might know already know it. You just 
slam this in the ground. And if you see this post, it's a pretty tall on it. It should be in four feet in the ground because there should be five feet above ground. But I mean, if you can see, the thing's not moving that much. I mean, it's mainly just wild. It's mainly just vibrating through the log. So it's pretty strong. It's a pretty strong post. So we will. Uh, we have these other posts right over here. You can see them. They're shorter. See how much shorter they are. You can see them. You see how shorter that is. These only. These are about a foot tall, shorter. Anyway, and then there we're gonna go all the way over there. And uh, yeah. Anyway, we will show you when we get maybe halfway done. We'll see.